Hello and welcome to the English News Bulletin of Halabol. Before moving to the details, we'll at first have a look at the day's headlines. The Bharat Band called by the Farmers Union on Tuesday got massive success in Tripura. Tripura Pradesh Congress staged massive protest in solidarity with the farmers on the day of Bharat Band. Agitators burnt tires, raised Modi Hatao Desh Bachao slogans. Terminated 10,323 teachers continued their protest that entered the second day on Tuesday. Here we move to the news in details. Irrespective of tireless efforts of the BGP activists who tried to abort the Bharat Band called by the farmer unions on Tuesday, the Band remained a successful one in the state while people gave massive response to the strike. Farmers protesting against the center's agricultural sector laws have called Bharat Band today after several rounds of talks with the government over the repeal of the new farm laws remained inconclusive. The opposition political parties extended 10% support to the Band on Tuesday. The Band was successful at the state Tripura along with the major states of the country including Punjab, Haryana, Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, etc. Only a limited number of private vehicles and few small Small vehicles could be seen in the morning hours at the state and capital city with a few limited number of passengers. Streets were almost empty and bazaars too remained almost empty. Most of the people didn't even choose to come out of their homes. They rather enjoyed a holiday while being at their homes. Agartala rail station was also mostly empty. In front of the station, the long queue of auto rickshaws could not be seen unlike other days. Rush of passengers couldn't be noticed and also the security personnel couldn't be spotted. Similar condition prevailed in the Nagarjala bus stand too. Although the BMS activists could be seen sloganering to oppose the strike, but no buses plied from Agartala to far off distances. Not only in the Agartala city but in all the eight districts of Tripura people gave massive response to the Bharat Band called by the former unions among which eye-catching images were caught at Udaipur and Unakuti districts. Congress leaders and activists conducted picketing in entire state to make the Band a successful one, whereas the ruling BJP party activists did picketing in the state to oppose the Band and forced businessmen to open their establishments. Other than the BGP picketers, normal people could rarely be seen in the streets. Bureau Report, Halabol. Tripura Pradesh Congress staged massive protest in solidarity with the farmers on the day of Bharat Band. Agitators burnt tires raised Modi Hatao Desh Bachao slogans. Tripura Pradesh Congress staged protest in solidarity with the farmers' protest while extending massive support to the band called by the farmers on Tuesday. The Congress agitators burnt tires in front of the Pradesh Congress headquarters at Post Office Shomani Agartala with the aim to make the strike a successful one. The Congress activists picketed across the city. The Congress agitators raised slogan of Modi Hatao Desh Bachao. On the other side, the BJP kicked off bike rallies with slogans against the strike observation in Tripura, but only a limited number of people could be seen on the roads while making the strike a successful one. Other than supporting the Bharat Band on Tuesday, the Congress leaders, workers and supporters demanded the central government to withdraw the farm laws immediately. Not only in the state, but across the country, the Congress extended cent person support to the farmers' protest. In this regard, Shadar District Congress President Shubrata Singh said, Actually, আমরা তো এই বন্ধ সব সময় সমর্থন করেছি আগে করেছি যেহেতু কৃষকরা কৃষক এসে আমাদের মেয়েদণ্ড কৃষক ছাড়া আমাদের মানুষের খাওয়া রুটি সব কৃষক উপর ডিপেন্ড করে আমাদের সরকার সেই জুমলাবাস সরকার মোদি সরকারের কি বলবো দেশে কি বরবাদের জন্য কৃষকরা আজকে আপনারা ওরা যে টাকা রোজগার করবে 
সব রোজগারের চলে যাচ্ছে গভর্নমেন্টের টাকা আর কৃষকরা আন্দোলনকে আমরা সবসময় সমর্থন করি আজও করেছি আমরা আমরা এখানে পিজেটিং করতে দিলাম প্রচুর বিজেপি দুষ্কৃতি কাজে যাচ্ছে হামলা চালানোর জন্য ওরা চেষ্টা করেছিল কিন্তু বাইরে আমাদের ওয়ার্কার সবাই ছিল He said without farmers no one can survive in the country and therefore the Congress supports the demands of the farmers. The Joomla Baas BGP government must repeal the three black farm laws. Bureau report, Halabol. Dealing with the extreme conditions in the cold that terminated 10,323 teachers continued their protest that entered the second day on Tuesday. Chief Minister Biplab Kumar Dev asked the teachers to withdraw their protest and apply for the 9,000 posts declared by the government of Tripura. The terminated 10,323 teachers who started fresh protest under Joint Movement Committee have continued their protest that has entered the second day in demand of livelihood. Till time, no government representative yet visited the teachers at their agitation spot near city center Agartala. The teachers spent their entire night under open sky amid cold and extreme weather without proper food and shelter in order to convince the government authorities who promised them to secure their jobs prior 2018 assembly elections. The teachers who are considered as the backbone of the society have turned victims under vote bank politics of the BJP who were promised by BJP national and local leaders via vision document about a secure future if the BJP is voted to power. But as soon as the government established in the state, it took a complete U-turn and forgot its promise that it gave to the retrenched teachers. The agitating teachers, however, told the reporters that they will continue their protest until their demands are met. However, it's time that will tell what turn the indefinite sit-in protest demonstration takes and what steps the BJP government takes to restore their lives. We are a report. Halabo. Senior CPM leader Pavitra Kauri addressed a press conference here on Tuesday wherein he thanked the people for extending their support to the Bharat Band called by the farmers. Under the banner of All India Kisan Sanghash Coordination Committee, CPIM Tripura State Unit conducted a press meet extending its support to the farmers called Bharat Band on Tuesday. Addressing the press, senior CPIM leader Pavitra Kaur said, like the 26th November Bharat Band called by the trade unions, this time too the CPIM extended its support to the Bharat Band called by the farmers in demand of repealing the three black farm laws introduced by the BJP government in the centre. He said the farmers in lakhs of number are protesting at the borders of Delhi, leaving their homes without any proper shelter or food just for a fair price of their produce. The coronavirus induced lockdown that had already aggravated the problem of the peasants has been further ruthlessly challenged and increased by the BJP government while introducing the three farm laws without any discussion. He added around 530 farmer unions have joined hands who have called for Bharat Bandh demanding a repeal of the new farm laws. In the Kishokra, Akon Prai Share Pasho Kishok Sangoto, Pasho the Jukto Ejo. Tai Goto, Choitariki, Alochona, Jokon, Pachalosta Prai Tolche, Amadej Pudo Dabi, a bill. এবং আইন প্রত্যাহার করতে হবে এটা যখন মানছে না সরকার প্রধানমন্ত্রী তার পক্ষে আজকেও গত কালকেও রাত্রিবেলা ওকালতি করেছেন যেটা আজকে আমরা সংবাদ মাধ্যমে দেখেছি আন্দোলন ভাঙার জন্য কৃষি মন্ত্রী 
Pavitra Kaur added that despite of conducting limited publicity for urging the people to support the Bandh at the time was limited, but still the people gave massive response to the Bandh called by the farmers. He further added the BJP activist wholeheartedly tried to abort the Bandh, but the people who can feel the hurdles and miseries faced by the farmers supported the strike on Tuesday. Bureau report, Halabol. BJP's Hira era enlisted new records of abduction that could be seen long years back in the state. After Litan Das of Damchara, three other men have been abducted from border area under Ganganagar police station. A big question mark raised on the role of police. The trade of kidnapping seems to have returned once again in the mountains. Similar question has started to arise in the minds of common people across the state. It has been about 11 days since the abduction of Litan Nath from Damchara when once again three workers have been abducted at gunpoint in the border area under Ganganagar police station. In a description of the incident, it could be known that Monday at around 9 a.m. in broad daylight, NPPC workers were constructing a fence across the borders at BOP at Ganganagar area. They are namely Shubal Devnath, Ganapati Tripura and Shubhash Bhomik. Meanwhile, Shubhash Bhomik's residence is in Gokulpur School Tila area of Udarpur subdivision. Tuesday visiting Shubhash Bhumik's residence, it could be seen that everyone in the residence were crying. Everyone broke down in tears and were not in a condition to speak even. Surat Bhumik, a college student, son of Shubhash Bhumik, said that after watching the news of his father's abduction on television on Monday, he contacted contractor Opu Deb and the family members rushed to Radha Kishorpur police station. After talking with the police, the family members got shocked to hear the news of all the incidents. I was told that 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 I was उदयपुर पीएसए जाए तो उदयपुर पीएसए जावर संगे संगे ऐसा ही शुमन आचार्य जी सारे खूब रेस भालू रेस्पोंस करते हमारे हेल्प करते हैं कल के रात्रि उन्हें शॉप जागर में दे कथा हुई थी ना इस डिप्लू साइड पर आसिलो तो उन्हें रात्रि वाला वो खाने खबर ली थी ना किच्छ तो कौन कुनो आसिलो ना अपडेट Question arises on the role of police administration as since long days of abduction of Litan Nath from Damchara, he could not be traced yet by the police. And now, once again, three persons have been kidnapped by the miscreants. It's time to see what time the police takes to solve the mystery behind this abduction happening episodically in the remote areas of the state. Bureau report, Halabol. Parents of Shabram Government Higher Secondary English Medium School blocked the National Highway in demand of appointing a principal to the school. BJP Shabram District's member Debashish Majumdar also supported the agitation. The guardians blocked the road of Garjantali Kalibari on National Highway No. 8 in demand of appointing a principal of Shabrum Government Higher Secondary English Medium School. The parents blocked the National Highway from 11 a.m. till 2 p.m. on Tuesday. They demanded appointment of a principal to the school without any further delay. Centering the demand, although the parents on Tuesday conducted major road blockade protest, but declared to go for Gherao of the District Education Officer and State Education Department's office in future if their demands are not met. In this regard, BJP Shabrum District's member Debashish Majumdar said, Shabrum English Medium School er amader tinti dabi shei dabi puroner jonno amra ajke obostha niyechi Shabrum English Medium School pray ek boshor porjonto kono headmaster nei 1000 chhatro ei school e dur duranto gram pahar theke ei school e porte eshe chhatro ra कारण ये एकम्र सरकार इंग्लिश मीडियम स्कूल अनेक आशा आकांक्षा नहीं छोट छोट शिशु स्कूले पाठान है किंतु एक हजार छात्र थका सत्ते स्कूल हेडमास नहीं पदक्षेप आ 
যে ডিস্ট্রিক্ট এডুকেশন অফিস ঘেরাও এবং ডাইরেক্টর অফ স্কুল এডুকেশন অফিস ঘেরাও আমাদের মাননীয় আমরা যোগাযোগ করেছি উনি বলেছেন তোমাদের দাবি আদায়ে প্রয়োজনে আমি রাস্তায় নামবো When the parents detailed their demands to the local MLAs, they too supported their agitation and assured the guardians to take part in protest in future if required. BJP Shabrum District's member Debashish Majumdar, irrespective of being the member of the ruling party, raised his voice against the ruling education department of the state, while supporting the demand of the parents for appointing a principal in the school where from past one year, no principal was present. We are a report. Halabol. Well, that's all from the English Bulletin at this moment. For more news and updates, keep tuning in to Hullabol.